What was another memorable year at the great Minnesota get-together for the Fox 9 crew? And a memorable year for the State Fair as well, which set up some major attendance records out there. Fox 9's Rob Olson joining us now live from the fairgrounds. Rob, uh, boy, a lot quieter than what I remember from just a few weeks ago, days ago, I should say. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm standing right where our stage was until about an hour ago. They took the platform down. Thankfully, they've left the uh, canopy here or else I would be getting soaked as are some of the other crews that are out here uh, disassembling their stands. Our neighbor, Dimitri's here, was gone already this morning. A wet soaker of a day to help kind of cleanse the fairgrounds a little bit amidst a very, very impressive record-setting year. There's something very satisfying about pressure washing, even in the pouring rain. You're going to get wet and dirty, so if anything, I'm getting cleaner. On a soaked fairgrounds, that annual day after feeling that it was certainly a good time and certainly a good time to be done. It's 12 days of fun right there you're washing away. It's a thick layer. It's, yeah, it's very thick. It's taking its time. As vendors pick up and pack up to the point of not recognizing the place by midday. You don't waste any time then. No. Not, not after 12 days. <laughs> <laughs> We're here 14 hours a day. The roads a traffic jam of actual traffic rather than people. The fair set five new individual day attendance records and an all-time attendance record for the third year in a row. For the first time, though, breaking two million. The fair believes success is a balance of heritage and reinvention. People keep coming back because they want to see what's new, but they come back because they want to do what they've done every year as well. So I think that balance of tradition and what's new is what's really important and what's, keep people, what's keeping people coming back. Great fair. Great fair. Mancini's just finished their sixth year at the fair and represent part of that reinvention. More pubs and patios to make a fair that feels like the state's biggest patio. Questions of whether the fair should now go longer, well, many vendors simply cannot. And this is our deal once a year and then we go back to our regular jobs. Right. So for us, right. it's 12 days is really yeah. more like 14, but then that's yeah. it. You couldn't do more. No. Yeah, and the fair says really they've had these questions too. Should they expand? Well, they're geographically landlocked here, so they can't get bigger. And they're locked on the calendar too. A lot of the out-of-state vendors have fairs immediately before and after uh, that they have to either come from or get to, so they can't expand that way. So they said they really focused on moving people around. The West End uh, renovation a few years ago and the North End this year. And they say they believe they're going to continue to try to successfully spread the crowds out that they already already have rather than make anything last longer. I tell you what, a day like today, though, it would have been a bit thin out here. Mm -hmm. Live at the fairgrounds, Robles and Fox 9.